New at 11, a Metro Atlanta mother is angry and frustrated because her son's killer is no longer on death row. Her son died 21 years ago this month, shot and killed by the man who carjacked him. CBS 46's Karen Greer tells us why Eric Perkinson gets a new chance to have his life spared. June is not an easy month. For Laura and Stephen Lynn, it's a time to celebrate the birthday of their son, Louis Nava, as well as remember his death. There is the sense of sadness in the month of June, just, you know, just there. June 6, 1998, Nava and his best friend, Dakari Slowly, were leaving Mount Vernon Shopping Center in Dunwoody when Eric Perkison, his two brothers, and a friend robbed and carjacked the teens at gunpoint. They could have let him go at that point. Kick them out of the car, take the car, but they did not. Instead, Nava was shoved into the trunk, and the boys were driven 40 miles to a secluded road in Bartow County. Perkinson marched a shoeless Nava into the woods and shot him in the head. Slowly escaped with a gunshot wound that severed the bone in his left arm. None of these defendants have ever taken responsibility, shown remorse, nothing in terms of what, what happened. And I have an issue with that. All four were convicted. Perkinson was sent to death row until recently when a judge ruled his attorney was incompetent and questioned Perkinson's mental capacity. Now, Perkinson gets a new trial. We're angry and I'm frustrated. Criminals who are intellectually disabled cannot be put to death in Georgia, so a jury must determine Perkinson's mental capacity and whether he should be resentenced to life in prison. We'd be fine if it was life without parole. Perkinson's attorney, Alan Medoff, had been suspended by the Florida State Bar for a crack cocaine addiction and admitted to being asleep during parts of the trial. Georgia State Law Professor Jessica Sino says while it's rare for the death penalty to be overturned, the justice system must ensure all defendants receive fair trials. The next person who comes along, let's say they're innocent, and there are cases all the time when somebody is on death row for 20, 30 years and they never committed the crime, they also deserve that same measure of fairness, and that's how we're able to unmask those types of errors when we look at everything else. For the lens, it's a reminder of what could have been. Nava's classmates built a memorial for him behind Dunwoody High School. He was captain of the wrestling team and loved working with kids. I always felt like he would be a um, high school coach and working with kids. I, that's what put him in his happy place. I reached down to the Georgia Public Defender Council who will represent Perkinson. They declined to comment. I'll continue to bring you developments as this case continues to unfold. For CBS 46 News, I'm Karen Greer.